Hello out there again fans and welcome to another video by the team here at BlenderTech.com That's Blender T-E-K dot com Unity videos will soon have their own website when the requirement is there. We currently use version 4.5.5 F1 Pro. Please like the video if it helps in any way or you learn something useful. And also subscribe for more videos on Unity 3D, Blender and coding. The team adds at least one quality video a day. And don't forget, create your way. In today's video, Lesson 4, we'll go over the basics of working with sound in Unity. What's a game without sound anyways? We'll go about our usual way, setting up a quick scene, and I promise this time it's going to be very quick, and then we'll import some audio and adjust the settings to see what happens. I suggest you download a short sound clip of some sort off the internet, about 10 to 30 seconds long, or just choose one of your shorter songs off your computer but you will need some sort of audio file to import to follow this tutorial so let's create a new project and get started with setting up our scene so to create a new project go file new project and choose a good folder I'm gonna re-emphasize just as I do in every single lesson to organize your projects as best as you can because each project is gonna have dozens of you're gonna have dozens of project with hundreds of subfolders and thousands of files so I already have my project started and open and ready to go so I'm just gonna close this but you would just hit create when you had your path selected so let's get started with setting up our scene let's first create a cube if you've forgotten, I really suggest watching the previous lessons, but regardless, to create a cube, we go to Game Object, Create Other, Cube. As you can see, we now have a cube in the center of our scene. With the cube selected in the hierarchy window, make sure the position under the Transform component is at the origin, which is 0, 0, 0. If for some reason it didn't get generated at that position, either type in 000 or right click on transform and hit reset. Now rename the cube to music and hit enter. You'll now see in the hierarchy window the name has changed to music. This cube is going to represent our music. That's why we called it music. Now we'll show you how to import sound files into Unity. You can drag and drop the file into the Assets folder just like any other asset Unity supports. You can also copy and paste most file formats. If you really don't have any music to use, you can just download some Creative Commons music from the popular composer Luke Thomas. Regular spelling. Google his website and download a song to use if you don't have one ready at this point. Now let's drag and drop our scene into the assets folder. So I'm going to choose one of my sound clips here. I'm just going to choose a short one so that we can see about looping and everything. I'm simply going to drag and drop it into the assets folder here in the project window. And Unity will now import it. And there you go, we now have a sound clip on our assets folder. If you want to organize it better, as I always suggest, right click in the gray area here and go to create folder and call this audio. Then just drag and drop your sound clip into there. Now double click on audio and you'll see we have our sound clip in there. Next up, we simply take our imported song and drag it from the project window here and drag it on top of the game object called music like this now if we click on the music game object in the hierarchy window you'll notice in the inspector window that we have a new component called audio source this is the basic component for working with most audio in unity press play and you should hear your music playing We're off to a good start. It's playing once. And now it's stopped because we don't have a loop. So uncheck play to get up back into scene view. 
The music played automatically when we pressed play because in the audio source component, it has play on awake checked off. This means it will play once when you start the game. Let's set the music to loop so that it would play forever. Check off the loop box right below the, the play on awake box in the audio source component. If you have the time, you'd notice your sound will now loop forever in this setup if you press play. As you can see, or heard I guess, it looped at least twice. Now let's try something interesting. Translate the game object music around the scene with the translate tool or hotkey W on your keyboard. Try moving it up and down. Move it up a bunch and then press play and see what happens. you might notice it sounds a little different. If it doesn't uncheck play, find your cube again or double check on in the hierarchy window to focus and move it on the x-axis way to the left or the right. Press play again. You'll now most definitely notice that it's playing in my left speaker more, or your left speaker more or completely than the right. Uncheck play to get back to the scene view. The reason it played in one speaker more than the other is because by default any sound is imported as to what's called a 3D sound. You'll see the 3D sound settings box here. And under audio clip you'll also see it says this is a 3D sound. By default, that's how Unity imports sounds. 3D sound moves around in relation to the audio listener in the scene. The audio listener is on the camera in this instance. If we click on main camera in the hierarchy window, under the inspector window now, you'll see audio listener. So wherever the camera is, is where the sound will basically listen from in relation to where the sound is playing from, which is from our cube. So since we moved our cube to the left of our camera, the sound plays in the left speaker and vice versa. Click again on the music game object in the hierarchy window. You'll notice under the audio source component, the 3D sound settings. Drop down that box so that we can see the settings. You'll see this graph here. You'll notice as I translate the game object left and right that there's changes to the curve. That basically shows you, well you can read the graph, the volume, the pan, and the spread. And you can see the listener is basically the camera so it shows you where the listener is in relation to the audio and its volume pan and sound you can move these dots around in the graph and they have two handles just like in unity if you click on one that you can rotate to change the shape of the curve play around with this and see what kind of different sound you can get out of it and again and also keep translating your cube around left and right and up and down to see how it affects your sound. Every time you make a change just press play and see how it sounds. You'll definitely get the effect more if you use headphones. When you're done playing around with that go back to the project window and click on your sound clip. You'll see now with the sound clip selected that under the inspector window we have a bunch of settings. Make sure that you've only clicked on the sound clip 
once. So there's a bunch of options available to you. The help page, which is the blue book here with the question mark on it, if you've forgotten, explains all the settings in detail. I'll spare the long lecture and just give the basics. First of all, Unity is non-destructive to your source file. Any changes made in Unity will not affect the original file. It uses the options you see here instead to generate and import a copy. Audio format is self-explanatory. Unity will recompress the file into the format you choose in the drop-down box. For that reason, it's suggested to always use uncompressed .wav files as your source file so that Unity can recompress or so that Unity can compress the sound to reduce processing power or memory needed to store and play it. The 3D sound checkbox tells Unity if it should be positional audio or non-positional. Non-positional audio means it's just background sound that isn't able to pan across the speakers when you move your listener object or the sound source which happens to be on our camera in this instance. If you move the listener object or the sound source with 3D sound unchecked it will play at the same volume in the center at the same pitch no matter what. So this can be used for something like background music. For load type, music should be streamed for less memory and short clips should be selected in memory to reduce processing needs. The rest is self-explanatory and again any extra details will be in the blue documentation book icon. Let's change our sound to be 2D instead. So uncheck the 3D sound box and then all you have to do is click apply. Unity will now do the changes and create a co new copy of our source file in the assets audio folder. So if you now click play even though we've changed the position of the cube you'll notice it's now centered again and at full volume. Uncheck play to go back to the scene view. Click on the music game object icon and you'll now notice that we have that it says this is a 2D sound. So now you can play with the 2D sound settings which is basically you can just pan it left or right but you can also adjust the volume and the pitch. So think creatively. You could create a script that makes the pitch change slowly one way or the other to increase or decrease tension in a game scene. So that's the basics of sound in Unity for now. Again, check out Luke Thomas. His music is used in tons of Unity games and I believe if it's not public domain, it's at least Creative Commons license. Thanks for watching this video from the team here at BlenderTech.com. Again, that's Blender tek.com if you enjoy this video and it helped please like it and don't forget to subscribe for more unity 3d blender and coding tutorial videos we try to add between 3 to 10 a day if for some reason you dislike this video don't just leave please add a comment instead that tells us what we can improve on so that each video gets better and better for private concerns we can be emailed at info at blenderdeck.com we also love input as to what we should add more of and tutorial requests. Lastly, we will host our videos on our server so that you can download them to watch on your media player of your choice at any time. Just let us know. See you next time and remember, create your way.